Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Fading Suns character book. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this sci-fi passion play tabletop role-playing game, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about gameplay. Just like many other tabletop role-playing games out there, you have a task or action resolution system here. It is known as the victory point system in this case. These aren't rules to be followed strictly, they are guidelines. At its core the system is quite basic, but there are some nuances to it. You carry out your actions by rolling dice, and your role is going to be affected by a particular skill and characteristic relevant to the action. But there is more to it. If you are successful in your task, you're going to gain a number of victory points equal to the roll result. Now, this is important because there could be resistance. As you target various non-player characters, objects, structures, even with some actions that apparently present no opposition, they have a resistance value. The expenditure of victory points must match the number of this resistance value before any impact can take effect. If you overcome the resistance rating or value that opposes your action, you are victorious. Your action delivers its impact, be it perhaps damage or other effect. Now, when it comes to the timing in this tabletop RPG, you have turns. Each turn lasts from 1 to 3 seconds. There are also rounds. Various situations, usually combat, are divided by rounds composed by turns. When it comes to a moment, this is a short period of time, used to represent variably timed action, such as for example a character retreating, sneaking across a room, etc. A scene is an encounter, a collection of moments or rounds. An act is made of scenes, and a drama represents a scenario or an adventure. Dramas are composed by acts, and you have the epic which is a campaign in other tabletop role-playing games. Now, I really like this explanation here. You have present tense, in character, in the moment. These are the actions that you are taking. There is also the instantaneous scale, which, of course, happens in an instant. And then you have the narrated scale, which recounts what has happened so far. For example, after a long journey, the adventurers finally arrive to the abandoned outpost. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about initiative and actions. As you can see, everything is very well explained in this tabletop RPG system, especially when it comes to the in-present, in-the-moment actions, what is instantaneous, what is a narration, the division of turns, rounds, moments, scenes, acts, etc. And there are even some perks when you are quite efficient or effective at a particular task. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you. And see you later.